Hello everyone, today I am reviewing the next entry racer and his name is H.J. Hollis. He appeared in the Next Generation TakeOver scene where Jackson Storm had his winning streak. He also raced in the Los Angeles and Ford 500 races. And he is the Next Gen Angel Cola racer that replaced the veteran Parker Brixton. He was only released... Well, actually he was released a couple of times. Well, a lot actually. He was first released in 2017 as a single with and without the collector card he had and he was released as a single in 2021 and I'm, I'm not sure if he was released in any multi-packs and he's not released in any two-packs though and yeah that's all for his releases because I don't know if he was released in any multi-pack I don't think he was released in any two-packs and he's been released as a single in two different ways in 2017 and was also released in 2021. And he's actually also released as a color changer and in the Fireball Beach Racers line. And no, he doesn't have any XRS versions or... No, he wasn't released in the Thomasville line either or the 24-hour Endurance. But he was in the Glow Racers book, so maybe he'll have a Glow Racer variant soon. Not sure, though. So yeah, but anyways, let's review him. And by the way, the version of reviewing is made in Thailand. As you can see, he is green, purple, and white. He has two different shades of purple, a dark purple and a lighter purple. He has a determined expression, and he is like looking up, maybe at the grandstands and the fans, or the big jumbotron with the placements and the laps, and that big screen maybe. And he does have black rims with lighter tires, the exhaust pipes. He does have the sponsors that read Pisica, Carbon Cyber, Combustor, and Synergy. He has the arrow from where the pity is set to lift him so that they can change his tires. He does have the gas cap on this side. And he has a grill, the vents, and the headlights. He has green eyes, number 68, on the roof with the roof laps. And by the way, he has metal windows, and the window bars are black. And he has the Andrew Cola logo. And the logo itself has the Andrew Cola logo. And the spoiler also has a darker shade of purple on there with a lighter purple right here. And he does have like a bluish purple right here on the front, on the side. And then it turns into like a pinkish purple and then a dark purple on the back. And there's the Ento Cola logo, 68. And the Ento Cola logo on the hood. And there's the logo in green and white. Here is purple, white, and like a lavender color. And around the Ento Cola logo and on the bottom on his hood are a darker purple. Here on the top is like a pinkish purple. And it's similar right there on the roof. There's the dark purple right here. And on the back, it's all purple with a green Ento Cola logo with green and white. The rookie stripes. And every next gen had the rookie stripes except for Tim Treadless for some reason. He does have the taillights and this black part and the number 68. And he has the Mattel made in Thailand, the Pixar logo, and there's a date stamp. And this Heishi Hollis I have right here is from 2021 because he was only released made in Thailand in 2021. All his other releases are made in China. And no, he doesn't have a Vietnam release, I don't think. And here are the other and to a cola racers I have. And by the way, the spoiler, 
Um, Hishi Hollis actually does have a mini racer version, and every Danny model spoiler on the mini racers had the Danny Swerve as spoiler style, except for Hishi Hollis. He has his own spoiler as a mini racer. Along with Will Rush, even though that's not the accurate spoiler he has. But anyways, here's a comparison with Parker Brixton, the Andrew Cola veteran, and the Car 1 racer Manny Flywheel, who has been barely, barely seen in the movie for some reason, because Manny Flywheel is the hardest Car 1 racer to be spotted in the movie. While Heishi and Parker are much easier. But yeah, anyways, this is all for today's review. And if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you on the review on Richie Gunsit. So this is all, everyone. So anyways, everyone, bye now.